Hello, this is Philip Saroyan with your weekly sentiment analysis of the Euro and literature review research discussion. I wanted to quickly go over this preview before the December 1st conference call. So I'll just go ahead and jump through it quickly, less than 10 minutes. These are the major bullet points. And keep in mind the scope of the research is news and sentiment analysis while trading the euro. Also taking a look at sentiment data via social market analytics, as well as the option sentiment indicator uh, as a daily options trading uh, summation, which is a modified put to call ratio in essence. Here's the five day raw score from social market analytics as a predicted variable. The daily returns the spot euro forex exchange. You'll notice from the chart is moderately positive. The slope is moderately positive, is able to generate alpha uh, within your trading models. Uh, I don't get into that with this research. But um, the five-day raw score, which is an unbiased, unweighted sentiment score uh, measured by social market analytics on stock tweets and Twitter, comprises the sentiment uh, for a weekly five-day rolling average and is, uh, does a fair job at making a good trading strategy. Caveats for the research. According to Tetlock's research, Tetlock's research that is uh, fundamental to news trading, uh, negative news has a greater impact on stock prices. Stock returns feedback into consumer sentiment, and uh, no feedback loop exists or no momentum indicator uh, exists with the OSI. So um, stock returns uh, feeding back into consumer sentiment, I think is something to understand as a practitioner, as a trader, as a technical practitioner. And uh, if, with regards to the, uh, to the research, um, if you go over the literature review, if you get a chance to go over that, you'll see that previous research supports the, uh, the idea that social media is in fact a factor in the long run, but not in the short run. Um, of some foundational research also uh, shows that uh, the, the social media factor is a valid factor in the asset pricing model. So you can look at it as a sixth factor. The main question of the literature review and the research uh, thesis overall simply can social media sentiment data be included in a prediction model? And according to Wu, Zhang, and Guo's research, they say absolutely yes. So their research shows that pre-earnings um, allows uh, there to be speculative chance to, to be able to predict uh, good earnings surprises, as well as uh, being able to predict overall price returns as a, as a general asset pricing model. Um, and according to uh, dissertation from Coleman, he says no, and he defines investor sentiment as being very much uh, to do with the sentiment um, as it pertains to uh, their opinion and their more along the lines of their purse strings. So as investor sentiment is defined, he, he, he says that no, it is not in fact a factor. So keep in mind the scope of my research and the option sentiment indicator takes a look at sentiment as market sentiment. So it's a collective sentiment from options trading and that put to call ratio, that modified put to call ratio is able to generate buy or sell signals. And based on that, uh, based on the data itself, when we plot it on the XY graph, it is valid. And being able to explain some of the noise that exists from social media, so, excuse me.
I have to take this call. Because I don't have much time. We have five more minutes, so please bear with me. And, um... Okay. So if you're still with me, um, it's important to also notice that, um, according to Alison McCallum's research, the Irish study of, of Irish and, and U.S. companies and stock exchange, they said yes, in the long run, I think so. In the long run, the social media is a factor. Um, but it, however, it just it simply is temporary in the short run. So it's it, it's it's keen to you'd be you'd be very um, wise to to really hold to profits and kind of just day trader if you want to trade based on sentiment. Levels. Looks like the research summary um, page is already here with the PowerPoint. So I'll just summarize by saying this, the, the, the goal of the research paper is to test the noise indicator as the uh, option sentiment indicator as the, the modified put to call ratio. If you've seen my white papers, you'll notice that the option sentiment indicator is, is similar to a long only put ratio. If you and uh, this one is actually uh, also similar to Schaefer's open interest ratio. And um, so it, it comprises the entire open interest for the day on the underlying exchange traded fund. In this case, it's the euro currency shares, ticker symbol FXE. And I comprise the data. I compile the data from Market Data Express. And so on a daily basis, I'm able to update um, my spreadsheets uh, based on the, on the overall options trading. So it's like reading the tape on a daily basis, and it's the end of day data uh, to, to, uh, to predict the next day's buy or sell. And it has relatively good success, a good hit rate as a trading strategy, as a um, predictor variable. It's also able to explain some of the noise as a noise trading indicator, um, I know I, I put here no assertions to theory building. However, the theory is that social media factor um, can be included in the five factor Fama and French asset pricing model. So, in other words, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm supporting the thesis that, that this noise trading indicator coming from the options market, which has been heavily, I mean, anyone who is an options trader. In practitioner knows very well that there is a lot of leading signals. Oh, two more minutes, guys. We got two more minutes. Um, so anyone that knows the options trading, that is a leading signal. It can be kind of a, a scary, ominous kind of ideation, but it isn't. It, it's on a daily basis that this exists. A lot of big traders and players will put their money in options because it's a leveraged bet as opposed to dumping their money in the outright stock. So this 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 premise is goes along the lines of, of speculation and speculative research that, that has been paying off so far. Um, so I've wrote an, written an article about weekly sentiment and how it pays off. Um, and so just looking at, at uh, the endogenous variables, if you see the endogenous factors, and you're able to, to see that everything that is being played out right now can be just explained by sentiment, then you're in the driver's seat. Um, so that's the good time to, to really be a day trader at it um, for those speculators and individuals that are your clients or, 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 or working and working with as in your firm. Um, and so it's it's important to, I'll just end by saying this uh, on, a, on a technical note, it's important to understand that the option sentiment indicator is not a momentum indicator. Every day is a new day. So it's it's best to just to understand that and to really make a if you're really taking a research angle and you're really uh, double checking things you want to be able to find a confirming signal confirmation from your sentiment indicator and the end of day uh, from a, another indicator to confirm that 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 the uh, that that the sentiment is firming up or weakening so every day is a new day and. Um, I, I hope I hope this has helped you out just a tad bit more and uh, going into the December 1st uh, phone call I, I hope I hope you're able to join.